Continuing on with what we were discussing, we are studying saturated hydrocarbons uh, and specifically the term saturated hydrocarbon is also an alkane. So we are studying alkanes. These are saturated hydrocarbons. The general formula for an alkane is CMH2N plus 2. What does that mean? It means that if you know the number of carbons, you immediately can figure out the number of hydrogens in the molecule. So for example, if you have something like this, remember we did line drawings in our first video. And if you have, know that this is a carbon, this is a carbon, this is a carbon, if you know that there are three carbons, how do we figure out the number of hydrogens? We just, if n is equal to three, so the hydrogens are two times three plus two. So we've got eight hydrogens. That's called the general formula of an alkane. So if I tell you that we've got a 20 carbon molecule, how many hydrogens would that be? Well, this would be P20 and then H, remember you go two times 20, which is 40 plus two, that would be 42. Okay, so that covers that part of the what we need to know with uh, the, um, number five. When it says know the general formula of an unsubstituted alkane, it just means that all of the hydrogens are there. They haven't been substituted with anything else. All right. One thing we need to be able to do is if you see a structure, be able to figure out its molecular formula. So let's say I have this structure over here. And I tell you, what is its molecular formula? All you would have to do is count the carbons. One, two, three, four, five, six six carbons, you immediately know that you've got 14 hydrogens, okay? What if I've got something like this? Let's count them. So this is a carbon, 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 carbon. Can you see that? And we know because carbon's got four bonds that this will be three hydrogens, two hydrogens, three hydrogens, two hydrogen, oh, no, one hydrogen, because this already has three bonds, so it's just one hydrogen, one hydrogen, three hydrogens, two, and three. But rather than sit and count all the hydrogens, just focus on the carbons. How many carbons do you have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if you have eight carbons, how many hydrogens would that be? Then obviously it's going to be 8 times 2, which is 16, plus 2 is 18. Okay? So creating the molecular formula from a line drawing or from an expanded drawing or from a condensed drawing should be pretty straightforward. That takes us into concept of isomers. Okay, number four on our list says be able to recognize alkanes that are isomers or identical. Okay, let me first define the term isomer. Isomers are molecules that have the same molecular formula but different structure. All right, so you gotta know what an isomer is. Same exact molecular formula, just a very different structure. What do we mean by that? Let's find out. Okay, so let's say I've got this molecule over here. I'm just going to draw an expanded one for now, so you can see it. Here's your expanded structure. And then I'm going to draw this one over here.
How do I know how many hydrogens I'm supposed to put? Well, because we know, like we said in our first video, carbon's got four bonds, hydrogen's got one bond. You gotta fill it up. Um, okay, so if you do this, you notice that you've got four carbons. And if you count them, you don't really need to count them because we know the generic formula already. You just go four times two is eight plus two is 10. So this is C4H10. This one over here is C4H10. They have the exact same molecular formula, but you can see that they don't look exactly the same. This is where you need to, you guys need to invest in some highlighters. I'm going to use this red marker over here. And what I want you to do is put it on at the end of your molecule. So just highlight right through without picking up your pen. So you can go four in a row here, but for this one, you can only go three in a row. Can you see that? This is four in a row, this is three in a row. And then this over here would be considered a branch, something coming off of the main stretch here. So anytime you've got two molecules that have the exact same molecular formula, but different structure, different connectivity of the carbons, they are called isomers. All right. Now, let's take a look at one other one. So we know that these two are isomers. What if I draw this over here? What if I draw it like this? Okay. So when you look at the board here, they don't look alike. They look like two different molecules, don't they? However, if you get that highlighter, remember we said, so long as you don't pick it up, it's all one, one line here. So we're going to put it over here, and you notice that you don't have to pick it up so that you can cover all four of them. There is something in organic that says there is free rotation about the carbon-carbon single bond, free rotation. Uh, I'll get some molecular models to show you all this, but right now I just want to tell you that there's free rotation. So it could go up, it could go down. As long as I'm not breaking a bond or anything, this is all in one straight line. So I could represent it looking like this. I could represent it like this. I could do something like this. See, this is all four in a row. Four in a row, four in a row, four in a row. These are not isomers. These would be considered identical. Okay? So remember, isomers have to have the exact same molecular formula but different connectivity, different structure. Identical molecules, of course, have the same molecular formula, but they're also going to have the same structure. That's where your highlighters are going to really help you guys out. You'll be able to identify identical molecules versus the isomers. Okay, good. We covered that section over here. Now we are ready to do some fun stuff. Ready to do number six which is IUPAC nomenclature. Now let's get started on that. And I think maybe we'll do that as our next video. Okay?